Hey guys, today we are taking a look at the Platinum Japanese Chinese Calligraphy Fude Brush Pen. So keep watching. So I ordered this pin from Amazon a couple years ago and I finally got around to reviewing it. I have used loads of platinum fountain pens. In fact, if my cat will not meow at me for moving too much, I'll try to grab a couple to show you guys. Platinum Plazer. And then I've got a Platinum Cool. No, nope. oh, things have fallen. Platinum Cool, and then, of course, the ubiquitous Platinum Preppy. So I have used quite a few Platinum Fountain Pens, and I use their pigment-based carbon ink, which is waterproof. Um, and this is a very fine carbon-based ink, which it won't clog fountain pens, so I assume it won't clog brush pens. But I have never reviewed or looked at, to my knowledge, a Platinum brand fountain pen now. I mean, brush pen. Sorry. Cat is super distracting tonight. Um, Platinum is a Japanese brand of stationary supplies, and this is probably intended for calligraphy, but you guys should know by now, I am probably going to use it for art. It comes with a small Platinum cartridge of the, I assume, Platinum Carbon Black ink. And I have a few of these laying around my studio. It's got a small, looks like a fiber nib, but I could be wrong. You can see if my camera will focus. There we go. You can see the fins and then you can unscrew it and pop the cartridge in. But you know, I don't like using these little cartridges when I've got a big old bottle of this laying around. So what I'm going to do, since this is a plastic body, is I'm gonna convert this to an eyedropper conversion. So I'm gonna grab some silicone grease, and I'm gonna grab a uh, Q-tip, and I'll be back in a minute. So I've done eyedropper conversions on other brush pins. I've never done one with a solid nib like this, so hopefully this will work out. If not, I only paid about $4.79 for it. So we're gonna put a little bit of this silicone grease on the threads going around. And we can actually fill this with any color we want. We could use some Sailor Storia ink probably. In fact, that might actually be a better, more fun way to do this. I wanna make sure I don't have any stray fibers. Yeah, let's see. I have Storia in Lion. That's actually one of my favorite Storia colors, and it's been a while since I've used Storia. Now, with this, uh, and we could have used a converter. Probably any platinum converter would probably work with this. So if you've got a spare converter from your plazer laying around, and this one is full of diamine and it needs to be cleaned. So a converter like this, mm, you know, maybe not. It's looking a lot smaller. Might not be compatible at all. All right, so I need to go grab a bum, 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 an eyedropper. I'll be right back. All right, so unfortunately, all that back and forth, I didn't catch what I just did on camera, and I even narrated it. So what I did is I used this eyedropper to fill the barrel of this pen, avoiding the silicon grease, with Sailor Storia ink. And then I screwed it closed, and I wiped away the excess, capping it, and I'm gonna stored inverted. It's gonna take a while for that ink to percolate to the tip, maybe even a couple of days, but I will check in with you guys after it has and we'll play around with it. So, incredibly surprising, the ink's already made its way to the tip. So, I'm going to just grab a piece of cartridge paper. We'll zoom on in. That's really neat. 
right, so although it's fiber tip, it's got decent flex so far, not mushy yet. And since we filled it with a pigment ink, this should be waterproof once dry. So that's going to be really fun for me to play with. And I kind of want to buy some other, this has some blue in it. I kind of want to buy some more. Wow, it's already waterproof. Heck yeah! All right. Anyway, I kind of want to buy some more of the platinum brush pins and fill them up with some of the other colors I have. I have um, Dancer and I have Magic, but uh, Lion, which is this sort of sepia color, is really a fine choice for skin tone. So that's really cool. I'm glad that worked out. And um, just for that alone, this brush pin is fun to play with, especially if you're the sort of person who doesn't like those nylon bristle brush pins for whatever reason. I've got one right here, in fact. So this is a Pintel brush pen. As you can see, it's got individual nylon bristles, which tends to dry brush. Just gotta give it a really good squeeze, and even then, you might not always get a nice thick line, but this is fine if you're looking for something a little more um, along the lines of, say, a brush, although brushes don't really dry brush quite this badly. However, this is a brush pen you can fill up with the ink. I wouldn't say the ink of your choice, but if it'll work in a fountain pen, it will probably work in one of these. You can use a pigment-based ink, so you can use something that will be waterproof when dry. And this is less prone to dry brushing. So for four or five bucks, not a bad investment, especially if you enjoy doing watercolor and you want to do line art for it, could be the way to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I inspired or um, educated somebody today. I hope somebody's going to go and try this out on their own. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye, guys.